How's it going, everyone? Want to quickly do a video pointing your guys' attention to a great deal available right now, and I think that this deal uh, really illustrates the difference between physical and digital gaming sometimes and why you'll want a disk drive if you are a bit of a deal hunter or wanting the best value out of your games. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 is priced at $19.99 on Amazon right now. As I'm recording this video, it is in stock. This is a deal that's been coming in and out of stock and whenever it's available, seems to go out of stock very quickly perfect price point for a master collection uh, for the master collection volume one uh, I do quickly want to note that this is probably one of those deals that you look at and really really just shows the difference between digital and physical gaming because master collection volume one when it goes on sale on the PlayStation Store is literally $42 $42 for a digital download of a game where physically a hard copy, a disc, an on disc copy, which costs more to manufacture, is over 50% uh, lower in cost comparatively to the discounted price on the digital store. It's not $42 standard, it's still $60. It's $42 when it's on sale, and that's the deepest discount we've seen. Um, it's just absolutely insane when you look at it that way, and the fact is they're getting more money out of you just on the basis of if all things were equal and it was $60 on the PlayStation Store and $60 physically, which it was at launch, but now a year after launch or 11 months after launch, the price point for a physical copy has just gotten relatively low and uh, just to talk about the collection itself had a lot of issues at launch which was very unfortunate but now you know Konami has worked to fix a lot of the issues and you're getting three of the most iconic video games of all time Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Snake Eater in my opinion is the best. Metal Gear Solid 1 is great but it's a PS1 game they really should consider remaking that after Snake Eater uh, but you know as a PS1 game it shows its age. MGS2 I've said it before is my least favorite of these three but it's still a really solid game and I'm not trying to say that as a slight to the game. I said that once and people and there was one comment that like completely had a meltdown on me over saying that MGS2 wasn't it's not like it's a bad game it's just my least favorite of the three but still a really really good game and uh, obviously with Snake Eater they are remaking Snake Eater from the ground up in Delta Snake Eater and that'll be great hopefully out in 2025 but uh yeah $20 for this entire collection after all of the fixes and updates like $60 from the out the gate was already a fairly expensive price point but given that it's one of the most iconic franchises of all time and we desperately needed these games preserved on modern platforms because god knows we can't get backwards compatibility and the HD collection isn't available you know uh, the collection that had MGS 2, 3 and Peace Walker we can't access that so the master collection a good shout to go but had a lot of issues at launch a lot of that has been uh, remedied but now you're also getting it at a third of the initial cost they had also noted that they're taking their time with master collection volume 2 because master collection volume 1 wasn't uh, turning out all so well in terms of you know the issues with it and I feel like those are issues that you should have been seeing prior to the release of the game but what can you do you know at this point $20 a great price and again, the collection is literally $42 when it's on sale over on the PlayStation Store. And if you want to talk about digital versus physical gaming, look, I love digital gaming. The convenience a lot of the times is great. But uh, these days when you just can get Amazon orders shipped to you in a couple days, uh, physical gaming offers you quite a lot of convenience as well. Maybe swapping out discs isn't as great, but there's a reason why Sony and PlayStation and anybody involved want to get you over to digital gaming, especially unlike PC gaming, where PCs have other digital storefronts and, you know, you can go to a site like Green Man Gaming or a Games Planet or all of these other key sellers and uh, verified key sellers and buy your keys that way and get them discounted. PlayStation, it's all in-house in that ecosystem and it's up to the publisher and they can dictate whatever price that they want. So just something to consider, but a great deal nonetheless. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on it and $20 to me seems like a great price point. Just wanted to do this as a quick video because I know this is a price that has been coming in and out, but whenever it's available, it's only available for a short period of time but that's gonna do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below and i will leave a link to where you can buy this yourself it is amazon affiliated so if you do buy it we get a little bit of a kickback which is much appreciated as always thank you for watching sound off down below and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.